Good afternoon. It's a good day today. You know, uh, when we took office 45 days ago, I promised the American people to help us on the way. Today, I can say we've taken one more giant step forward in delivering on that promise that help us on the way. I want to thank, start off by thanking the Vice President, but I want to thank all of the senators who worked so hard to reach a compromise to do the right thing for the American people during this crisis and voted to pass the American Rescue Plan. It obviously wasn't easy. It wasn't always pretty, but it was so desperately needed urgently needed. Also, I also need to say a few words about Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who I spoke with many times in this and again this morning. I served in the Senate, as you all know, for many years. I've never seen anyone work as skillfully, as ably, as patiently, with determination to deliver such a consequential piece of legislation that was so urgently needed as the American Rescue Plan Chuck Schumer, Senator Chuck Schumer, when the country needed you most, you led, Chuck, and you delivered. Neither I nor the country will ever forget that. And it's not a moment too soon. I've been talking about the urgency of this need. For, many, for over a year, the American people were told they were on their own. They were seeing, uh, we've seen how hard that has been on so many Americans. As of last night, 519,064 lives lost to the virus. That many empty chairs this morning at the breakfast table, gone. More than 400 small businesses closed unnecessarily. Millions of people out of work through no fault of their own. I want to emphasize that, through no fault of their own. Food bank lines stretching for miles. Did any of you ever think you'd see that in America, in cities all across this country? Families facing the threat of eviction. This nation has suffered too much for much too long. And everything in this package is designed to relieve the suffering and to meet the most, most urgent needs of the nation and put us in a better position to prevail, starting with beating this virus and vaccinating the country. The resources in this plan will be used to expand and speed up manufacturing and distribution of vaccines so we can get every single American vaccinated sooner than later. I believe by we'll have enough by the end of by the middle of May to vaccinate. It's going to take longer to get in their arms, but that's how much vaccine we'll have. Because of all the funding, we'll be able to hire more vaccinators, set up more vaccination sites to get the country in a place to get back to normal. This plan will get checks out the door starting this month to the American people who so desperately need the help, many of whom are lying in bed at night, staring at the ceiling, wondering, will I lose my job if I haven't already? Will I lose my insurance? Will I lose my home? Over 85 percent of American households will get direct payments of $1,400 per person. For a typical middle-class family of four, husband and wife working, making $100,000 a year total with three kids, they'll get $5,600. I mean, with two kids, they'll get $5,600 and will be on the way soon. That means the mortgage can get paid. That means the child can stay in community college. That means maintaining the health insurance you have. It's going to make a big difference in so many lives in this country. Unemployment benefits will be extended for 11 million Americans who've lost their jobs, who last night, again, were lying in bed thinking, my Lord, I'm going to lose my unemployment insurance in a week or so. It was about to expire. Schools are going to have the resources they need to open safely. States and local governments that have lost tens of thousands of essential workers will be, have the resources they need available to them to those laid-off police officers, firefighters, teachers, and nurses they can rehire. There are, these are essential personnel. Look, the American Rescue Plan lowers health care premiums, food and nutrition assistance. It's hard to believe that 24 million adults and 11 million children, as I speak, in the United States suffer from food insecurity. 
That means simply you don't have enough food to eat. Did you ever imagine in the United States of America you'd see lines literally miles long of kids, folks in their automobiles waiting for a box of food to be put in their trunk? I stood in line handing out food. The people coming up never, ever, ever thought they'd be in that position. This helps families who are behind in their rent and their mortgage payments so they aren't thrown out of their homes. Look, the bottom line is this. This plan puts us on a path to beating the virus. This plan gives those families who are struggling the most the help and the breathing room they need to get through this moment. This plan gives small businesses in this country a fighting chance to survive. And one more thing. This plan is historic. Taken all together, this plan is going to make it possible to cut child poverty in half. Let me say it again. It's significant, historic. We'll cut child poverty in half. There's much more to this bill, but for now, let me make one final point. When I was elected, I said we were going to get the government out of the business of battling on Twitter and back in the business of delivering for the American people, of making a difference in their lives, giving everyone a chance, a fighting chance, of showing the American people that their government can work for them. And passing the American Rescue Plan will do that. And you know, it may sound strange, but a lot of senators and congressmen I want to thank, but I really want to thank the American people for making all this possible. So, well, how do they make it possible? Well, quite frankly, without the overwhelming bipartisan support of the American people, this would not have happened. Your elected officials heard you. Overwhelming public support. Every public opinion poll shows overwhelming support for this plan. And for the last weeks, it's shown that. Every public opinion poll shows that people want this. They believe it's needed. And they believe it's urgent. Now this bill returns to the House of Representatives, which has done a great job from the beginning, where I hope it will find quick passage so it can be sent to my desk to be signed into law. By passing the American Rescue Plan, we'll have heeded the voice of the American people, not ignored their voices. By passing this plan, we would have delivered real, tangible results for the American people and their families. And they'll be able to see and know and feel the change in their own lives. And by passing this plan, we'll have proved that this government, this democracy, can still work. What has to be done? It'll improve people's lives. One more thing. The vast majority of economists, left, right, and center, from Wall Street to the to the private, private uh, 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 economic uh, uh, polling initiatives. The economists, as I said, left, right, and center, say, in addition to the needs the people have, we need this to grow the economy. That if we haven't spent this money and recreated the kind of incentive for people to be able to make a good living, that we'd be in real trouble. This will create millions of new jobs. It's estimated over 6 million new jobs by itself. Increase the gross domestic product by a trillion dollars. Put our nation in a position to outcompete the rest of the world because the rest of the world is moving, particularly China. And to know that as tough as this moment is, there are brighter days ahead. There really are. As I said before, it's never a good bet to bet against America. It's never been a good bet to bet against the American people. We are America. We're going to get there. We're going to remain the leading economy in the world and going to be the most successful economy in the world because of you, the American people. Thank you, and God bless you all. May God protect our troops. Thank you.
good. I'm going to succeed. We're going to succeed moving forward. Look, the American people strongly support what we're doing. That's the key here. And that's going to continue to seep down through the public, including from our Republican friends. There's a lot of Republicans that came very close. They've got a lot of pressure on them. I still haven't given up on getting their support. Thank you.